kettles on, bowl of water from the beck, so we can have a wash, heaters on, crying dog, still in bed, but apart from the sound of the heater and the crying dog, listen. Heavy rain and windy. We must still be in the Lake District for the next day of our adventures. And this is what it's like outside. I love it like this. Wild, wet, and windy. Love it. Absolutely love it. And now it's time for breakfast. Breakfast. Cocoa Pops Frosties combination for me and cornflakes and multigrain Rice Krispies for me. Toast and a cup of tea. And, a cup of tea. and Bonios for the boys and girl. Followed by a breakfast pudding of toast and marmalade. A two course breakfast. Never heard of in this van. It's cold and wet out there. So a cup of coffee at Honister Slate Mine again, yeah. just to start the day. What's the plan? Well, you want to go to Buttermere and put it in sat now. The only route it's saying is four miles that way. We've got to go up, up round to Keswick and up round back <laughs> because, because it's, it's flooded, flooded still. So here we go. It's a bit wet out there. Okay, it's very wet out there. Well, it's the Lake District. It's part of the fun. It is. I'm just nipping out. Stop. Well, oh, you just pointed that sheep out. Ugh. Keith just said, look at that sheep down there. <laughs> I think it's trying to shelter the best it can. Can you see it? Just there on the ledge. And there's one down there as well. Anyway, I'm getting back in it, being it now. pulled up by the side of the road because I've been driving past the last couple of days and I've seen this and I just wanted to see what it says. It seems an unusual place There's something carved with words on it. In memoriam W. Hodgson he prayeth well who loveth well both man and bird and beast for the dear God who love loveth us 
he made and loveth all. And the date is September 1878. So that's very old. So I wonder why it's here. There's no explanation. So I might have to have a bit of a Google when we've got a signal and just see if we can see anything. Right, back to the van because we're not parked in the best position. There's Derwent Water just coming into view again. Derwent Water overflow. got its horns stuck in the fencing. Keith's good need of the day.
we're on Winlatter Pass. We've arrived in Buttermere. We've spotted tonight's park up later on. It's only taken us two and a half days to get here. Yeah, because uh, Winlatter Pass being closed because no, of flooding. Honister. Well, Honister Pass, sorry. Yeah, we're coming over Winlatter. But the first stop in Buttermere, where well, we're being observed by Lady Bay Nab. and Driver Nab, is a coffee. Croft House Farm Cafe. Well, we ended up going for a little bit more than having a coffee, didn't we? It is nearly lunchtime. Bacon butty with lots of bacon and a dollop of brown sauce. This is a lovely place. And we came in just the right time because it's absolutely fiddling down again now outside. So that was a very nice bacon butty. Naughty, but nice. Look at that waterfall. The reason we wanted to come here to Buttermere is to go to the church because it is Sunday. No, that's not the reason at all. Never been to Buttermere before. Have you? No, not that I can remember. So. So that's the way we would have come from the slate mine, had the road not been flooded. Hence the reason it's taken us two and a half, three days to get here. And we didn't come over Windlatter Pass. No, no, you got it wrong. I, I, I see it's not just me who gets things wrong. The sat-nav took us a different way. Oh look, the bird's tweeting. <laughs> so... Newlands Pass. Yes. Let's go on my bird, sure. doesn't it? So, so yeah, came over the Newlands Pass. The sat nav took us a different way. I was planning to come over uh, Windlatter, but it did us good anyway coming this way. Yes, because we found a park up. We have tonight, and a walk as well. So, but yes, I wanted to come to this church to so have a look at something.
No, not his bum. This gate, for a start, which you might not see very clearly, Shepherd. What does it say, the gate? Given by in memory of Geoffrey Norman Orme, vicar of the parish of Buttermere. 1931 to 35. It's a bit dark in here. It's not the stained glass window I wanted to come in and see. Oh, not that light. It's actually this. Pause and remember Alfred Wainwright, fell walker, guidebook author, and illustrator for who? An illustrator who loved this valley. Lift your eyes to Haystacks, his favourite place, which you can't see today because of the cloud. I'm just about making it out. <laughs> 1907 to 1991 is Wainwright's birth and death. And his ashes are scattered up on there. They were scattered there by his request. And if anybody has Wainwright books, they'll know how detailed they are looking at telling you which way to go over styles and all sorts and the illustrations are all pen and ink pen and ink by him aren't mm. we so and it's one of our aims to do all the, the way right. all the way right one day whether we'll ever do it <laughs> it's very dark in here <laughs> it is very dark in here just want to come and have a look at that mm. what a lovely little chapel The old entrance. And these lovely little bow windows as well. Mm. Again. But it is a very wet and dismal lake district today. It's how it should be. No, it's not. It is. It I should like be it. should like be nice. Rain. Should be nice and sunny so you can go out for a nice walk up on the hills. And I don't know, I think it's that building there. Like it said the one you can only see the roof walk down to it because we're out anyway. I think that's the old schoolhouse for Puttermere. It is. We're going past it. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether it was that one or not. No. 